Okay. All right. Today's uh, focus is on meridian lines. Uh, uh, yeah, take to crap. Uh, okay. So in Chinese called Ging Lok. Meridian lines meaning Ging Lok. So it's the Ging, the system, all this system is very similar to the traffic system. The, the way your body flow, all this is very similar to the traffic system. Just like the highway and the road. Okay. The Ging is the is the Big highway. Lokle is the road, it's the main road. So you have different level of uh, traffic systems. The main system and the subsystem. Okay. So whenever there's a traffic jam, just like your body, whenever you experience uh, some blockage, then you experience pain. So so very similar, if you look at the traffic, so if it's congested, this, that means something is not flowing right. So then you need to regulate it, okay? The best way to describe King Lock is using the traffic system to describe it. So you can picture yourself. Okay, the main one there, there are many, there are 14 main meridian lines. Okay, 14. The center one, one in front and one at the back. It's called Yammak and Tukmak. The front in front is Yammak. The one at the back is called Tukmak. Usually people, when you refer to the center line, you refer to both yamak and dokmak. Okay, yamak is coming, is flowing from your lower lip, from here, go along your throat, right in the center, and then go down all the way down. It's an inch in front of your of your uh, of your rectum called wu yam. That's your yamak. And dong mak dong uh dong mak le is from wu yam travel along the spine up the spine and then all around your head right at the center of the head and all the way through your nose and end here okay and actually inside your upper lip but usually we refer to here at yang at yang zhong so. That means your yanjong is the meeting line, is the meeting point between your yamak and dokmak. Okay. So that's your center uh, to main highway. All right. Other than that, your along your arm and also your legs. On your arm, uh, maybe I'll just have to change my. Uh, my screen so that you can I can so you can see me better. Give me a second. I'm changing the screen. Okay. So let me take off my jacket. So in your arms. We have three main lines facing out and three main lines facing in. The one, the three line facing out is called yam, and the line three facing in is called yam. So that means your arms, you have three this way, three here. And then because you have two arms, so that means arms alone, you have six and six, you have uh, six here, three here, three here, six, three here, three here, six. Okay. And then along your legs too, your legs, you have three facing out 
and three facing in. So also you have, okay. So you have yin, yin, yin is inside, yang is outside. Okay. So that explains uh, why you have 12, because you have six in the arms and six uh, along your leg. So plus the two center ones, so that makes a total of 14. So those are the main 14 main meridian lines. And other than that, there are other Keiging. Uh, Okay, king, that means it's a different meridian line, but with special, with, with special uh, function. Okay. So what are these lines associated with? For the arms, uh, you have the free facing out. Those uh, uh, associated with your intestine. Uh, your small intestine, your large intestine, and also sam zil. There's no translation in Chinese into English, sam zil. Sam zil usually is referred to the upper, the middle, and the lower. Okay. So that means your arms, the outside, they are related to small intestine, big intestine, and sam jiu. Sam jiu refer to upper, middle, lower system. The upper system, anything above the diaphragm, such as the head, the chest, that is the resp respiratory system. The middle include the stomach, the spleen, and also the gallbladder. That is the your digestive system, and the lower part uh, is referring to your intestine and your kidney. Those are your excretory system. So your arms are all associated with this. Okay, these the arm facing out. Uh, okay, and then the arms facing in. There are three lines. They are associated with lung, uh, your heart, and also the sac that holds the heart, the sac. It, 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 it's, a, it's an encasing that holds the heart. In Chinese, I have a lot Okay. And the legs, okay, the legs, you have the, again, the yin and yang. The yin, those three lines facing in, they are associated with your spleen, your liver, and your kidney. And the three lines that are facing out, the yang, that also associated with your gallbladder, your stomach, and your bile. All right, so that means when we, all these meridian lines are related to your internal organs. And then when you are practicing the bad, 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 gum, the bad, gen, gen, that means you are exercising your internal organ as well, because we are kind of stimulating our meridian lines. Okay. So the main function of the meridian line is to balance your yin and yang inside your body. So that's the main function of the meridian line, balance your yin and yang, and also regulate your circulation. So when you, when the circulation is moving well, that means you have enough exercise, that, that means you, you need to uh, regulate by exercising. By exercise, that means you are moving your circulation and that was a good thing because it will help you to detox, bring oxygen to various parts of your body 
bring nutrients and oxygen throughout your body. And also, because of that, it will improve your immunity. So, so the main uh, uh, important point is that the meridian line is to or is to coordinate between your your organs so that they secrete different uh, they have different secretion. So it regulates your internal organ. Okay. So another point that we I want to talk about is the uh, is the hours the meridian line flows. In Chinese, it's called zi lao ji. That means the flow of the meridian line, usually they have, they flow at different hours, okay? So right now, uh, the Chinese xi uh, shan, the Chinese time, the period, the Chinese divided the, the, the 24 hours into 12 periods. So that means each period is two hours, okay? So the liver, the flow of the uh, meridian flow, starting from the liver, is, is between one to three o'clock a.m. And then followed by the lung, which is three to five a.m. The large intestine is between five to seven. The stomach is between seven to nine a.m. The spleen is between nine to eleven a.m. And the heart is between eleven to one o'clock p.m. And the small intestine flow between one to three p.m. The gallbladder is between three to five p.m. The kidney is from five to seven p.m. The sac holding the heart is between 7 and 9 p.m. And psalm dew is between 9 to 11 p.m. And the bile is between 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. So that means the flow of the uh, meridian line actually go at different hours. That means they are on duty. Uh, why it's important to sleep early is because if you sleep early, all this flow will, will be uh, going at a very uh, comfortable speed. Say if you always sleep late, then the flow is impeded and is not as desirable, okay? So I think uh, I, uh, today's lecture ends here and um, uh, we'll start doing the exercise and after the class, we can discuss further, all right? So now is the time to do some exercise. Okay, let me... Uh, Let me adjust the screen so you can see me better. Okay, first, hands on the head. Rotate your head. Go slow. Take it easy. There's no rush. Just focus on your breathing, your inhale and your exhale. Inhale one way, exhale the other way. And then reverse. Inhale one way, exhale the other way. Okay, stop. Next, you turn our head. Big, big circle. Inhale up, exhale down, go slow. Inhale up, exhale down, 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Go slow. And stop and change direction. Slowly turn. And then stop. And now turn our head to left and right. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, and then forward and backward. When you go back, you inhale. When you go forward, you exhale. Okay, next, hands up, open, inhale, close, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Drop your hand, rotate your shoulder forward, rotate your shoulder back. Go back, inhale, go forward, exhale. Okay, next, you pat, pat your arm, go along, up, and down, up, and down, palm facing up, up, down, up, down, change side, up, Down, up, down, up, down. Now palm facing up. Again, up, down, up, down. Next, top of the head and back of the head. Again, top of the head, back of your head, one more time, up, and back. Next, pound your chest, side up. Now raise your elbow, and then, Swing your arm and hit your armpit. Swing it up. Your armpit. Okay, change side. Now the other side, same thing. Just turn your elbow and swing. Turn your elbow and swing. Okay, next, behind your neck. Behind your neck. Okay, your abdomen. Now along your leg, go down and up. Go down and up. Down and up. Inside your leg, down. Now whack your bum real hard.
Okay, behind your knee. Okay, next, arms in circle. Eyes follow the finger. Eyes follow the finger, arms straight, but relax. Close to your body. And then reverse. Eyes follow your fingertip. Change side, arms straight and relax. Stay close. Big circle. Eyes follow your fingertip. Chain, reverse direction. Okay, stop. Next, raise your arms, stand on the toe and come down. Reverse. Okay, stop. And now we start doing the back, back then chain. Okay, arms at the starting point. <clears throat> Slowly come up and search your finger. Start to rotate. Your eyes follow and raise go up. Arms straight, push. Look to the front, separate your arms sideways. Let me adjust the, the, the length so you can see better. Again, insert your finger, slowly come up, start to rotate, and then extend, push, look forward, separate your arms. Make sure your palms standing up. Slowly come down. Again, insert your fingers, slowly come up. Start to rotate. Go up. Push. Eyes facing, follow. And then separate arms sideways. Slowly come down. One more time. Slowly come up. Start to rotate. Go to the top. Push. Look forward, separate your arms. Okay, next, take a big step to the left, cross your hand, left hand inside, right hand outside. Left hand is the tiger crawl with your index finger pointing up. Don't po point like this. Make sure your index finger pointing up. And right hand is a feast. Slowly. Pull, and then stretch, relax all the finger, slowly come back. Now step to the right, <clears throat> cross your hand, right hand inside, left hand outside. Right hand is a tiger crawl with index finger pointing up, left hand is a fist. Start stretching. Stretch, relax your finger, Slowly come back. Again, big step to the left, cross your hand, left hand inside, and then inhale, and then exhale. Take right step, big step, and then inhale, exhale. Another big step to the left. Inhale. Your eyes follow your fingertip, your index finger, fingertip. Look at it. Stretch before you relax. Take a big step to the right. Cross your hand, right hand inside. Look at your fingertip. Start to stretch. And then relax. One more time, big step to the left. Inhale. 
exhale. Big step to the right. Inhale, look at the fingertip. Exhale. Okay, the third move. So your feet are parallel at the starting point. Slowly raise your hand and then your right hand continue to go up. Your left hand press down. Your left hand pointing forward. Your right hand is pointing to the left. Make sure both palms are flat. And then stretch, look at the top. Stretch and then slowly come down and relax. Again, now the other way. So left hand go up, right hand go down. And then stretch and come down. Now right hand up, left hand down. Inhale. Exhale, come down, exhale. Now left hand go up, inhale. Exhale. Right hand up, inhale. Exhale. Left hand up, inhale. Exhale. Now right hand up. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand up. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. So now we come to the fourth move. So all you have to do is standing tall, arms go back, turn your head to the left. Stay with the corner of your eyes, inhale. Exhale, bend your knee and arms go forward, everything back to center. Now standing tall, arms go back, turn your head to the right, inhale. Stay with the corner of your eyes. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, turn your head to the left slowly. Exhale, center, bending your knee. Inhale, turn your head to the right. Stay up with the corner of your eye. Big inhale. And then exhale, slowly. Again, turn your head to the left. Inhale. Exhale, center. Inhale, turn to the right. Exhale, center. And then inhale to the left. Exhale, center. Again, head to the right. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, center. Okay, so far, so far, we finished four moves. So now the fifth move, take a big step to the left. From the starting point, slowly come up. Then now extend to the side, slow, very slow. Fully extend, slowly come up. Right in front of you, come down. Slowly come down. Slowly rest above your knee, your knee. And then 
stick your head to the left, slowly bend your body so that it's parallel to the floor. Slowly move your head across to the right. At the end, reset, center. Now stick your head to the right. Bend your body. And just slowly move across to the left. Reset, center. Stick your head to the left. Slowly move across to the right, reset, center, head to the right, move across, reset, center, head to the left, move across, reset, Center. Head to the right. Move across. Reset. Center. Head to the right. Sorry. Head to the left. Move across. Reset. Center. Head to the right. Move across, reset, center. Last one. Stick the head to the left. Move across, reset, center. Stick the head to the right. Move across, reset, center. Now, again, lift. In parallel, shoulder wide. Okay, and then from the starting point, slowly bring your palms up and then slowly extend to the side. Slowly come up, press them right in front of your chest, press it down, palm facing down. Right in front, turn your palm facing up, and then rip, wrap around your rib, tuck the elbow in, cover your kidney, support your back, slowly lean back as far as you can go. Slowly come forward, your head, slide your hands along the back of your leg, slowly come down. All the way down, rest your palm on the floor. Extend your arm. And then slowly bend your knee, raise both hands up. Slowly raise them up. At the top, press your palms down. Go slow. Right in front of the chest, flip your palm. Tuck the elbow in, support your back, tilt your head back as far as you can. Slowly bend forward, slide your palms along the back of the leg, all the way down. Rest your palms on the floor, bend your knee, raise both arms up, arms straight, all the way up. Slowly press them down. Flip, wrap around, support your back, go back, and bend forward. Slide your hands along the back of the leg. Rest your palms on the mat. Slowly come up. Last one, slowly come down. Flip, tuck the elbow in, lean back, bend forward. 
slowly hold down. Rest your palms on the floor. Bend your knee. Slowly raise your arm up. Slowly bring them down. Okay. The next one, take a big step to the left. In horse stance, lower your stance. Now punch with your left fist. Punch. Flatten your palm. Stand up your palm. And then slowly turn, rotate, collect your fingers, come in. Punch with the right. Flatten, stand, rotate, and collect your fingers. Again, punch with the left. Stand, flatten, stand, collect. Punch with the right. Flatten, stand, collect. Turn your head to the left. Punch with the left. Flatten, stand, collect. Again, punch with the left. Flatten, stand, collect. Turn your head to the right. Punch to the right. Flatten, stand, collect. Again, punch. Flatten, stand, collect. Punch both in front. Flatten, stand, collect. Punch again. Flatten, stand, collect. Punch, side, punch. Flatten, stand, collect. Punch again, sideways, punch. Flatten, stand, collect. Okay, so we finished seven moves. So the last move, so make sure your stand is comfortable. Now raise both hands. Slowly come down with all the fingers touched together at one point. Stand on the toe. On the toe. And then release. Slowly come down. Fingers together on the toe. Release. Again, slowly go back on your toe. Release. Go back on your toe. Release. Inhale, go back on your toe. Release, inhale, on the toe. Release, last one. Inhale, go back, on the toe. Release. Okay, now we go to the last part, which is the Tai Chi Qi Kong acting move. Okay, so we are doing version number one. So make sure you are totally relaxed. Relax all every joint and your head is attached on a string with a string. Make sure drop your shoulder. And then take a small step to the left. 
But let me turn up the volume so you can hear. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knee. Inhale. Level with your shoulder. And then stand up your palm. Exhale. Inhale. Level with your shoulder. Stand up your palm. Exhale. Inhale, slowly standing up. Stand up your palm. Exhale, bend your knee to go down. Keep your body upright. Don't lean forward or backward. Don't lean your body forward or backward. Body upright. Inhale. Exhale. Next, inhale, open, exhale, close, bend your knee, inhale, standing tall, open, exhale, close, and bend your knee, inhale, up, open, exhale, close, bend your knee. Inhale up, open. Exhale, close and bend the knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Next, lean to your left, and then make sure your hand but don't go down. Let your palms to level with your shoulder. Don't drop down so low. Make sure it's like this, up to here. Inhale one side. Exhale the other side. Just shift your balance left and right. Shift your weight to the, to the right. And shift your weight to the left. Your top arm is not directly above you, but slightly away from your head. Next. Inhale, bend your knee, cross your hand, and go up. <clears throat> Come down sideways. <clears throat> bend your knee, cross your hand. Inhale up. Exhale down. Cross your hand. Inhale, standing tall. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, standing tall. Exhale, bend your knee. Keep your body upright. Don't lean forward. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Next. Drop your left hand, go behind, half circle, push to the front. And now drop your right hand, half circle, push to the front. Now drop your left hand, half circle, push to the front.
Drop your right hand in half circle. And push. Drop your left hand in half circle. And push. The right hand in half and push. Next. Inhale. Come down in front. Inhale, standing tall. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, standing tall. Come down in front. Bend your knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next. Both knees up. Both heels up. Standing on your toe. Inhale on the toe. Exhale down. Inhale, palm facing up. Exhale, palm facing down. Inhale, palm facing up. And then palm facing down. Inhale. Exhale. 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 Next, turn behind. Slowly come down and bend your knee. Standing tall, turn behind. Exhale back to center, bend your knee. Inhale, standing tall, turn behind. Exhale, center, bend your knee. Inhale, turn. Exhale, center. Inhale, turn. Exhale, center. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, center. Next, push your left palm towards your right shoulder. Slowly withdraw. And then push the right palm towards your left shoulder. And then inhale. Exhale, push. Inhale, withdraw. Exhale, push. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next. So the top arm level with your shoulder, the bottom arm level with your belly button. So change, inhale, lock your arm, just turn your spine. And turn your spine, lock your arms, your arms are not moving, only your spines are moving. Inhale, exhale, lock your hands, 
Turn your spine. Turn. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Legs go right leg in front. Then now you're leaning back. And then come forward. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, go forward. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, go forward. Now change leg. Left leg in front. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, forward. Inhale. Exhale. Now change leg, right leg in front. Inhale. Exhale. Spread your fingers. Collect all your fingers. Spread your fingers. Collect your fingers. Spread your fingers and push. Inhale. Exhale. Toes up, heels up, toes up, heels up, toes up, heels up. Change now the other leg in front. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now right leg in front, switch leg, exhale, inhale open, exhale close, inhale open, exhale close, inhale open. Exhale, close. Change side. Left leg in front. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, next. Punch with the right feet. And then slowly come back. Inhale, punch. Exhale, come back. Inhale, punch. Exhale, back. Inhale, punch. Exhale, back. Inhale, punch. Exhale, back. Inhale, punch. Exhale, back. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, next. Flex your wrist. Flex your wrist. Flex. Inhale on your toe. Inhale on your toe. Inhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next. Leaning back. Lean back. Exhale. Again, lean. Go back. Lean back. Exhale in front. Inhale. Exhale. Now change direction. Inhale, go back. Exhale, come down. Inhale, go back. Exhale to the front. Last one. Inhale, go back, lean back. Exhale. Next. Left hand, right knee. Right hand, left knee. Bring your knee up. Opposite side. Make sure left hand, right knee. Right hand, left knee. Opposite. Make sure your knee is up. your middle finger down. Press your middle finger down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. You can remain standing tall. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. So, so that's the class. Uh, okay. Please unmute yourself so that we can have a check. So let's turn. Okay, so unmute yourself, open your video so that let's have a chat. So I wonder anybody has any questions, comment? No? Great, so, great exercise. Yes, Good. I enjoyed the exercise too. Yes. Good. Are you relaxed? Yes, very relaxing. Very good, very good. That's our, that's the objective. Try to be relaxed and make sure you are, yes, you are fully charged. <laughs> All right. Just like, <laughs> just, like, you. just like you plug in, just like the battery, you need to plug in from time to time and charge yourself. Sleeping yes. is one way, and then exercise is another way to recharge your body. I, I think it takes take time to digest what you talk about the meridians. Oh, of course. I the mean, timing, how they flow. 
Well, for the for the time being, your 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 chi is make sure you do it spontaneously. Make sure you just you know do it naturally. Don't don't force yourself in and out until you reach a higher level. For the time being, just let it be. Just take it easy. Okay. Yes. Yep. So that's the best way to do okay. qigong. Never push yourself too hard, and then it's a gradual uh, steps. Okay, you have to do it from the very basic, and then high, go higher level when you can control your breathing. But yeah. the intention is very important. Your intention in qigong is also a key element. How you direct the flow of your chi is, is mainly up here. You, you use your mind to direct your chi. Okay? Mm -hmm. Say, for example, I have a bit of pain shoulder. Uh, I mean shoulder pain, a bit of shoulder pain. And then when I inhale and exhale, I, my intention is to direct my chi to that show to that spot. Oh. Okay, all you have to do mm -hmm. is use your mind to control and then direct the chi to that spot and then try to clear it. And then and then all of a sudden you feel you, you feel much better. Whenever you feel a spot which is in pain, always use your mind to control that spot and try to direct your chi. Mm -hmm. Your mind control. Okay. It's hard to do so. Of course it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything is easy. You need to practice. Yeah. Of course. of course, just even when you I try to breathe need... to your, just as simple as breathing to your dante, it's not that simple. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Breathing yeah. to dante, Saying it is easy, doing it is not so easy. Yeah. But, but the word is, is doable. Yeah. It, it can be done. It's doable. Okay? That means you need to practice. Okay. So in effort to do that, do we... Oh, uh, let me stop the, uh, the, the recording. <laughs>